A gas is initially at a pressure of 100 kPa and its volume is 2 m3. Its pressure is kept constant and the volume is changed from 2 m3 to 2.5 m3. Alright. Now let's draw the graph of it simultaneously. This is my PV curve. Initially the pressure is 100 kPa and the volume is increased from 2 to 2.5 let's say this is 2 and this is 2.5 and volume is in meter cube alright after that the volume is now constant and the pressure is increased from 100 to 200 now let's say this is my 200 kPa with a volume constant and after that the gas is brought back to its initial state with the pressure varying linearly with its volume like this so the direction of the cycle is this ok we have to calculate that whether the heat is supplied to or extracted from the gas in the complete cycle ok now first of all I do have the change in internal energy will be equal to zero because it is the condition for the cyclic process alright so by the first law I can write delta Q is equal to work done fine now one thing to note that since the cycle is anti-clockwise or counter-clockwise the work done will be negative that is for sure ok now if work done is negative then delta Q is also negative and since delta Q is negative so heat is extracted from the system ok now I have to calculate how much heat is extracted so for that I will calculate the work done that is equal to work done during the process AB plus work done during the process BC and work done during the process CA so work done during the process AB is P delta V so pressure is 100 kPa into changes volume is 0.5 plus work done during BC that is equal to 0 because volume is constant work done during CA can be calculated by the area under the curve that is this much part gives me the work done during CA so it equals to half of the sum of parallel sides that is 100 plus 200 kPa into distance between the parallel sides so that is 0.5 meter cube on solving this I get the value of work done as 25,000 joules and that is negative because negative sign shows that work is done on the system ok shows that work done is on the system so delta Q is equal to work done that comes out to minus of 25,000 joules that is my answer